What's the story everyone? Welcome back to GA Fan TV. My name is Aaron and this is the Match Day Vlog. Dublin versus Cork, Derry versus Clare at Crow Park. I decided yesterday, you know what, let's do a bit of a Match Day Vlog for this game. Going to Crow Park, going to the game. So I said, you know what, let's showcase the experience, share some, uh, some video clips and all the rest. Definitely got some good clips to be fair. I didn't use my phone, didn't use my camera, so the quality maybe mightn't be as good as uh, as what you're watching right now but um you know it is all a learning experience nonetheless i think i might do one of these for the uh Tolchin cup final and the all ireland semi-final which will be on that same day as well so if you do enjoy this type of content let me know in the in the comments down below we'll certainly do uh, a lot more of this you know since starting up this channel it's kind of funny I probably haven't gone to as many games as I did previously, mainly because I'm trying to sort of cover all the games and, and sometimes what happens is a lot of the games conflict with each other and they've similar times and all the rest and then obviously, you know, trying to do match reactions and, and everything else and trying to do content, you know, it's very hard to do that when I'm obviously not here in the uh, GA Fan TV headquarters. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, if you enjoy this type of content, let me know in the comments down below. Certainly more match day vlogs, all the rest. Uh, to come soon so uh, let's get into it What's the story lads? Welcome back to GA Fan TV. It is the match day vlog. Derry versus Clare, Dublin versus Cork. Two huge, huge games. I'm just walking up to uh, the stadium now, walking up to Crow Park. And uh, I think the first course of action is to get a cheeky point. Come on the lads. In terms of some predictions for the game then, I think I put out already on the on the YouTube channel in a post. Derry 110, clear seven points. I think it will be low score and I think, you know, when you look how defensive Derry have been in a lot of their games this year, I just think there will be a lot of uh, defensive play and I, I don't think Clare will score as much as they have in previous games. I just don't think they'll, they'll be afforded the opportunities. Um, and then, yeah. Dublin Cork is a formality, let's be honest. Dublin will win that fairly comfortably. Um, but I did hear Con O'Callaghan and James McCarthy not going to be playing, so, you know, two, uh, two big misses there. And that certainly could be something that the Dubs need to watch out for. There's uh, the Derry faithful marching up towards what they believe to be success. I thought that was Cork for some reason. Nah, Cork or later, Cork or later. Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's good to be back. So I just about made it in time. We're four minutes in. No score so far. Um, not really much going on, actually, to be perfectly honest. Not really much. Not really much action to report here so far. Here we go. Big moment. And he absolutely nails it. Not a bother at all. Second point for Derry. They've started fast. Oh Lord. Yeah. What? Oh. Wide. Ooh, that was near, that was dodgy. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Lovely finish there from Benny Heron. Derry with the early goal. Clear, get caught out from the kick out, but can they respond here? Clear really need to give us something here now. 
11 minutes in, nothing so far. Dairy fans enjoying that one. started like an absolute house on four two goals 15 minutes seven points up to no score Connor glass this time with the goal Derry have started like a house on fire here so far and it's it's a long long way back for Claire Claire really haven't got going here at all in the opening 10 minutes they're really gonna need to do something to come alive here I think another chance here for the Derry folk Claire get their second point of the game. Oh dear, oh lord. And there we go, Claire's first point for play. Oh, that's a lovely score, is it? It is, yeah, wonderful kick. <laughs> Half time and Derry absolutely comfortable. They've, they've scored three goals, very, very comfortable, three six. To 1 3 in total, nine points in front. The two early goals, the goal from Connor Glass, obviously, to start with, and then obviously the, the first goal as well from Benny Heron. Like, Derry just set the tempo very, very early on. Claire struggling to get into the game, you know, just one, one point for play or two points for play in the first half. They obviously get themselves a goal as well to get back into it, but it's been very, very comfortable from Derry. So, again, this could be goal number four. Oh, he makes no mistake. No mistake at all. We're after kicking another one. 4 8 now to 1 3. Very, very comfortable here so far for Derry. Most unusual goal you'll see this weekend. Player have enough time for a comeback? I don't think so to be honest. 11 points in the difference and speaking. Here come Derry, they might go down straight down the other end. No bother whatsoever. Goodness me. Man, certainly enjoying this one. You can understand why, I mean. Look at that scoreline. event of the evening. For the next one, I'm definitely going to be right in there. But, uh, I'm all right here, we got a good view, got a good view. Here's the throw in. Come on, lads. Oh, 
a lovely score, lovely point. Walk off the mark. Come on, lads. Yes, that's more like it. Lovely bit of play. Oh, he's put it over. That's a good point. Good point there from uh, Stephen Sherlock, his first point of the game. 15 minutes in, Dublin four points to two up here so far. Um, fairly dead atmosphere at Crow Park, to be perfectly honest. Cork obviously sitting very deep. Dublin struggling to, to break through them at the minute. Bit of wayward shooting on both sides. Dub certainly not kicked into gear so far, but at the minute in the first half. Are they going to do something? Is someone going to take a shot? Take a shot! Way puts it over the bar. Yes, come on. Poor, really. Oh, that's a lovely score. Two point game after half an hour. Not many people seeing that coming. So it's half time at Crow Park. Dublin 10 points and 7 in front. Look, I have to be honest, it's been nowhere near good enough really from Dublin in the first half. It's been a little bit a little bit wayward at times. It reminds me a lot of Dublin in the National Football League, like just nowhere near, the fluency isn't there. Decided to head on down to the lower Cusick stand for the second half because I'm gonna be honest, the upper Cusick first half. Bit of a bit of a damp squid atmosphere to be honest. So um, yeah, we're gonna head down to the lower Cusick for the second half and hopefully uh, a bit more of an atmosphere down there. So my phone went dead there towards the end of uh, of the video there, but there really wasn't much else to show really. Dublin in the end comprehensively coming through, winning 21 points to 10. I obviously discussed this game a bit more in the match reaction yesterday um, uh, after the game. But look, I think all in all, look, it wasn't a, the best performance from Dublin. Um, nowhere near the, the levels that I would like to see. I think first half was a little bit... You know, reminiscent of the National Football League Dublin that we've seen this year. But look, at the same time, they didn't need to be at their absolute best, and I do think that's the, you know, that's probably the main take takeaway from this. Really, is that you know this game sort of always went the way that we expected, and I don't th I think for Dublin there probably was a case of maybe saving energy for what is going to be most likely a, an explosive All Ireland semi final. Um, and as for Derry, I mean, their performance was unbelievable. I mean, first half was exceptional. And look, the Derry fans brought the colour, as you would have seen, you know, if it wasn't for the Derry fans. You know, they really saved the atmosphere in Crow Park, to be honest, because there was a great atmosphere in the first half. Um, in the Dublin game, it was a very subdued, strange atmosphere. I ended up going down to the lower Cusick because it felt like it was at a funeral at the upper Cusick, to be honest. Um, but yeah, you know, in the end, Dublin and Derry obviously progress. So uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts and your comments, your opinions on the games. And um, yeah, make sure to stay tuned for more videos coming soon, podcasts, all the rest. I'll see you all later.